Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate a Madagascar palm by cutting off a pop or also known as a shoot off off of the base of a Madagascar. Before I begin, I just want to let you know I do have a Facebook group. It's called Madagascar Madness. There is a link to this group in the description. Now what you're going to need for this is some rubbing alcohol because you're going to sterilize the knife. I just use this type of knife. It's really cool looking. Um, but I found it's the best method to use. You're going to need some welding gloves just to hold on to it. You're going to need a cloth just to put the uh, pop on so you can make a straight cut and some cinnamon powder and this is going to be used for the parent plant. You're going to put it on there. It acts as a, to protect it from any fungus or any bacteria. All right. So currently it is the beginning of May and I have found that this is a good time to cut this, to do one of these little propagations. And I already did one. This is the one I did before. However, I cut this one in December and it just has started uh, shooting out leaves. This one's for a friend. This is root growth, root growth hormone and I put a little bit too much on there. So that may be why the roots aren't shooting down to where I can see them. So this is what you're going to end up with. All right, so I'm going to put that that way. And next, what you want to do is you want to find the Madagascar you want to take it out of. A good rule of thumb that I have figured out is if you start seeing it shoot off leaves right up here, you can take one of the pup, these pups or shoot offs off of it so you know it's healthy and it's actively growing. So I have already picked out the one I'm going to be using doing this to, and it's going to be this guy right here. But you could, I could potentially use any of these because I only chose that one because it's on the outside and it's going to be easier to just cut and it looks like it's doing pretty well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the rubbing alcohol and you're going, let me show you how to do it. It's not hard or anything. You're going to just sprinkle a little bit onto the blade of the knife. And what this does is it just kills any bacteria that you could be introducing to the plant when you cut it. So all you do is just that real quick. And you can just let that sit for a few minutes while it dries up. You don't want to wipe it off because you could be just adding bacteria back to it. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to I'm going to figure out how exactly I want to remove this. The best way to do it. And while you're doing that, a good idea is to get the cinnamon powder ready because you're going to want to do this in one swoop just to minimize the time. Now, if you saw my video on how to cut frost damage on a Madagascar, it's pretty similar to this except for you're just removing a pup and not that. So what I'm going to do now is now that the knife is pretty dry, you're going to want, uh, you're going to want to try to get as close as to the base of the plant as possible. And I'm going to try to get this as best as I can without blocking the view. So I put my glove on. I'm just going to support this guy here. can't really see it, but I have my gloved finger under there. And then you're going to take the knife. And you're going to try to get it right in here, right near the base. Let's see if I can show you a little better how that's going. Right there, that's perfect. You're going to get as close to the base as you can. And you're just going to cut it off. It should come off fairly easy. This guy's proving me wrong, but it's okay if you can't just go underneath it. Like so. Come on. There we go. 
And don't worry about if it's kind of like at a tip or anything like that. We're going to address that in a minute. So you're going to put that down and you can put the gloves and knife away. Those are done. And as you can tell, we now have an exposed piece of the Madagascar. So what we want to do is we want to take the cinnamon powder. We want to cover that up, cover this in cinnamon powder to discourage any any type of fungus or anything like that. So it might be a little difficult if you do it at an angle like that. So hold on, give me a second. But you want to try to get your best to get any of that exposed part of the Madagascar done. And I actually tried looking for the Madagascar I did the other one on and I could not find it. So this does a really nice job of you know, healing up the Madagascar to the point where you just don't even notice it ever happened. And many times it'll actually start shooting pops off of here, here, and anywhere. So these guys will reproduce crazy. So I'm just going to put it back straight. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your own Madagascar guy and you're going to make this end right here straight. Now, I recommend, I couldn't find a cutting board but after thinking about it, I thought that was a bad idea because I don't want to cut, I don't want to really bother any of the spines as much as possible. So that's what we have the rag for. I don't recommend doing this, but I pick it up with bare hands. Don't, I definitely don't recommend it at all. So, especially when you do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to determine how long you want it. I'm fine with it just about this long. So then you're simply just going to cut it straight across as best as possible. I do it right about here because as you can see it starts to get more straighter. So, all right. And that's pretty much everything you need to do. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to leave it out. I encourage doing this early in the morning because this way you can sit out in the sun and what's going to happen next is you're going to want a callus to form on here and what that does is it protects that it protects the rest of the Madagascar and it'll eventually heal over and it'll start shooting out roots. I wouldn't put any root growth hormone on it right now because this needs to seal off. Once it's totally calloused over, like the other one over here, you could put a little root growth hormone on it and kind of go from there. As you can tell, this guy, he saw a little bit of uh, frost damage and just a little bit of uh, fungus. So what you can do is if that happens and you have enough space, you can cut it again, let a callus form over and try again. So, but once you see the leaves coming out, it's, uh, it's just obvious that it's ready to go and it's gonna start throwing down roots soon. So, and then with the remainder of the piece that you took off, you can try to plant it, I mean, and just see if you get anything else out of it. I mean, that's pretty cool if you can. So I'm just gonna actually give that a shot. I'm going to just cut the bottom on that and see if I can get this to propagate like that guy did where he cut it in sections and thirds. It's on YouTube if I didn't mention. He cut the big stalk of his Madagascar into thirds and then just planted them and it grew. So, but I don't feel I'm going to have that type of luck. If you decide to not keep it, just make sure you put it somewhere, wrap it in a paper towel and then toss it or put it in a compost pile. Just put it where someone, no one can step on it or hurt themselves. So, this callus should form in about a day or two. Once it goes from there, you can just uh, put a little root growth hormone on it or just let it sit for a little bit longer. You may notice that the leaves are gonna fall off. That is normal. 
uh, that would ha that happen with my other one the leaves will eventually grow back if it does take it may take a while depending on how hot it is around you as I said it is uh, beginning of May and this is in Florida and it's just starting to shoot out leaves and I cut it in December of last year so it may take a little bit of time so I would just keep it and it has these plants have sometimes gone dormant for about a year or so and then all of a sudden started shooting off started shooting off uh, leaves and started growing again so I would hold on to it and unless it completely disintegrates or just goes completely bad and mushy and everything like that I would just hold on to it and put it away and just see if it starts shooting off off any roots or leaves so with this guy I had a someone asked me in a previous video if I had planned to sell these. I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of considering it. I'm just going to see how this guy takes first and if this guy does that. So if you want to see if I do end up selling these or anything like that, I'll probably make an announcement on my Facebook group on whether or not I plan on doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative and I look forward to seeing more videos. And thank you so much.